morning. Good morning. So, um, it's moving day. <laughs> and we have a long drive today. Wait, who are you? I'm Aaron with Five to Go. There we go. Hi. <laughs> Brian here. Hi. <laughs> so who are you waving at? <laughs> okay, there's a closer mare. Hi, there you guys. Go. <laughs> <laughs> so, we have a long drive today, heading south. Um, we are leaving our friends and family to head towards other friends. So, um, we're just getting the rig set up, or set up to move. Yeah. So, unset up. Yeah, basically. Something like that. Yeah. Um, we just want to kind of show you. We, we wanted to get an earlier start, but... Well, we did, but I remembered at 12.30 last night that I had forgotten to pick up my prescription at the Walgreens down the street. They don't open till 8. Cleared off the counters in here, in the back bathroom. We kind of put stuff away that has a place to go away, but stuff that kind of stays on the counter. Um, we just put in the sink. Um, and made shower. Sure. Shower we don't worry too much about. Yeah, it's... It just is laundry. It is. I have a water for my CPAP. I just keep it down low in case it falls. It just goes down the drain. Yeah, I'll probably move all of those, or they'll be toppling while you're driving. So I have noticed that um, compared to the trailer, this thing moves way less. Oh, obviously, because the tires are much farther apart, and uh, oh, I guess I can talk into the mirror. Uh, the tires are much farther apart, and there's not as much bounce and shake and wiggle as the trailer because it's getting dragged around. And, oh, right. You know, so like. Every one, uh, what was it, the last moving day, there was a roll of paper towel sitting on the counter and it survived the entire drive. So yeah, it's really interesting, the differences. But we still, like, uh, we still use the bed to store stuff. So like CPAP and the fan and some things that we haven't put on the wall yet, yeah. uh, just to get them to somewhere where they can't fall. I'm not worried about any of this stuff. Soft oh, yeah, things just, that aren't uh, gonna fall. Towels and stuff. What do you think of the Turkish towels? since we're looking um, at them. I like them a lot. Yeah, I like them too. The and children really like them. There's, there's a can... single towel bar here and there's five of them on there. So yep. that's a, they don't take up much space at all. It's nope. pretty nice. And I just move, like if I'm taking a shower, I move my towel to here. So it's the closest one to yep. grab. And yep. it's, well, it's nothing, worked out pretty well. Nothing else in here, really. And they are getting softer. The they are. I wash them. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. excited. Alrighty, I'm going to move these. So. Okay. We're not doing a tour right now, so don't door. show them the whole rig. Eh, it's okay. So shower door is locked. Yes, That's shower one thing door is locked. You definitely need to remember, if you have a glass shower door and it locks, lock it. Lock it, lock it. Uh, the doors, these ones all lock open. Place, they have yeah. all latches up there. Beautiful children. Yay! We just got great pictures of them too. We did. Um, these are just closets, so those are locked. That's in all the way. Uh, we'll do something with that backpack. All those drawers are closed. But the thing is, this slide here comes in All and right. it kind of holds everything closed anyway. So nothing really does happens back here. Nope. Um, and then going forward, this is the pantry. And um, I just, everywhere where there's two handles close together like this, I just use these child locks. Let's see if I can do it one handed. I just use those so they can't really open and pour all of their contents out. So those work well. Um, I have one on the fridge as well because this thing has been popping open on me while I drive. And uh, the, fr the freezer also comes open. So what I do with that is when the living room slide comes in, I actually have a tension bar that goes from here to here and it holds it closed, which looks really silly, but it works quite well. Uh, I'm gonna pull out the kids' clothes so we can close that slide because okay. I don't want to forget to do that and then they don't have underwear to wear. Okay. Well, that would, yeah, that'd be annoying. Um, what else? We gotta put the salt lamp away. Um, these towels are out because they just got cleaned, but they go out with the swim stuff. Um, trash can will just lay in one of the booths. Vector's food and water, we just move up that away and uh, basically we just kind of clear this area roll these rugs up and uh, we use the booths to just hold stuff uh, kids are still asleep because it's still kind of early and then Tara's up there uh, so that bed goes up obviously these chairs spin back around that table goes under the uh, master bed and then I have a 
collapsible bin here that I store uh, like computers and stuff in, laptops, so we just kind of slide them in there and uh, it just kind of rides there and does just fine over there. The sound bar is, uh, I have it double-sided tape stuck to that counter right there so I don't have to worry about taking it off when we drive. Uh, we'll clear the countertops and uh, that's really it. Oh, there's another, I latched these closed because these have uh, you know, bowls and cups and plates and stuff. So I will uh, put this little child lock on that one, keep that guy from opening. And uh, that's really it. Uh, this this rig's kind of a lot easier to put together than the last one was. Ouch. Oh, you okay? <laughs> yeah, I just was a little excited about closing the door. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, uh, so let's go ahead and get everything buttoned up, get the kids up. We'll do. And, uh, Get a move on. Okay. All right. One's awake. Uh-oh. Oh, there's, there's movement. movement. All right, so out here, um, we actually do a little bit of prep the night before most of the time. Uh, we went ahead and took the mat up and folded it and put it away. And we also got the car ready to tow. I went ahead and put the brake lights on, ran the cable through, and uh, put the extra equipment up on the front so it's ready to hook up to the rig as soon as we move it because we're... Uh, we're right next to the road, so I can't hook it up quite yet. We had chairs and stuff, put those away. We had a tablecloth on the table, put that away. And um, I went ahead and disconnected and put away sewer, just because it's one less thing to worry about in the morning. So I just have to do water and electric, which are super easy to spool up. Whenever you have a long moving day, because today is going to be probably about eight hours. Um, on longer moving days, we like to do as much prep the night before as we can just to make the morning a little less hectic, you know, so it's a tip for you guys, uh, especially stuff like sewer. It's nice to not have to worry about, you know, getting the gloves out and dealing with all of that. And you can kind of take your time the night before if you want to do a full flush and, you know, so just go out before it gets dark the night before a moving day, take care of sewer, maybe get your outside stuff up off the ground so it's not wet from the morning dew. It's a little easier to work with when you do that. So, uh, gonna keep walking the dog here. Looks like we'll be closing up soon. Aaron's getting the kids up, getting them dressed. So we'll be on the road before too long. What's today, Berkey? What? Moving day. There we go, today's moving day. Ben, what's today? Jungle juice. What? Jungle juice. Jungle juice? What are you talking jungle about? Jungle juice. Did you just say jungle juice? Yeah. You're a little Disney young. World. Oh, are you talking about Disney World Jungle Juice? Yeah. That's Disney. not what Jungle Juice is to me. <laughs> are we pulling this slide in? Yeah, we got okay. the rigs running so we can run the slide in. All right. It's just a little button. It is, yeah. Just a little button. So the bedroom slide just kind of rolls in and the bed just kind of squeezes. Right there. Uh, still need to put the salt lamp away. Ben's messing with the tension rod. Uh, we went ahead and put the pedestal and the table away. They are under the bed. The ladder is on top of the bed. I'm gonna just take this trash. Yep, because we're, what are we? Trashy folk. Trashy folk. <laughs> okay, getting there, getting there. It's very, uh, it's a very humid morning here in Virginia. See the windshield, a little froggy. Just a little bit. Here's my co-pilot. Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> what is that for, bro? Oh, it's for covering your beautiful face. Okay, gonna roll up these uh, carpets, and uh, I think we're pretty much buttoned up in here. Yep. And I'll, I'll do the salt lamp. <laughs> I hope so, because okay. that will yeah. make things not so pretty. All right, I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, I put the salt lamp away. Uh, I've got the carpets rolled up. Got that slide closed. I'm gonna lock up the fridge in a second here. Kids are out getting put in the van over there. And uh, then we'll take the dog out and get this thing buttoned up, get the car hooked up, and then gonna hit the road. Where are we headed today? South Carolina. South Kakalaki. <laughs> what? <laughs> yep, South Carolina. Alrighty, slides in. Just wanted to show you the tension bar. So the tension bar goes from the fridge to the edge of the dinette here and that holds the uh, freezer closed 
and then I've got pantry locked, fridge locked, and this cabinet up here locked just so we don't have plates and bowls flying out. So uh, that's kind of kind of what we've devised for moving days. Uh, we just take that drawer out completely and put it on the bed uh, because that drawer is incredibly loud. Uh, every little bump of that drawer is like shaking in that little cavity there. So we took that out on uh, our moving days here from Colorado and it was so much quieter, it's not even funny. So if you have a bounder with one of those hidden drawers and it's loud, just take that sucker out on moving days and uh, you won't have to hear it anymore. So last thing to do out here, since the rig is on, and ready to go. I just have to hit the button to drop down off of the stabilizers. I'm um, just gotta do the water hose and the power line and we'll be good to go. Now I just go hit a button and get off the leveling, leveling legs. I don't know why that's hard to say. Hit a button and get off the leveling legs and uh, then we're ready to find a spot to hook up the car to uh, that beast right there. It good? I'm not sure. I think so. I mean, we we're still, look at it. This is what, the third time we've hooked the car yes. up? Yes, we're yeah. new at this still. So, brake cable is good. We've been running it through this so it stays oh. off the ground. It doesn't get pinched. I'm just worried about things pinching like here. Pins are in, legs slid out and locked when I pulled yep. the rig forward. We ran the cable through the car this time. So down into the door, out here and under the hood to there. That way, uh, it did do a little bit of scuffing on the paint there. Uh, so it shouldn't do that this time. Uh, but yeah, it all looks good to me. Okay. So I'll meet you up the road a little ways and you can go get your prescription. Yep. Alrighty, I'll see you at Love's. Okay, bye. Drive safely. Always. Alrighty, we made it to, Ooh. where are we? The Oaks? The Oaks, the oaks Three Oaks? No, the, the, the Oaks. Point, point South, it's a uh, point. thousand trails in South Carolina, like right off of 95. It's actually 17 and 95. Are you getting a picture? Yeah, I like the pink though. Yeah, it's not too bad. Not they, too bad. The, they um, need better pictures online because it looked a little scary It looks online. super scary online. It was taken like during the fall, like after a heavy rain, everything's wet and underwater. And <laughs> Lots of leaves everywhere. It's actually quite, it's actually quite, quite nice. Um, and also, we need to figure out their email messaging because the email said, just come in and pick a site. Mm -hmm. And then apparently a woman came out and tried to stop me and Aaron stopped and they had assigned us a site. Thank goodness so, we had gone down the right way. Yeah, I, I just happened to turn down the correct road, which is nice. I had to come up a bit in the front, but because when I pulled in and turned the computer on, the leveling computer on, it said I was low in the front, so I wasn't worried about having to unhook because I don't even think the back came up at all. It was all front and right. So yep. got the car running right now just to get all the fluids circulating, let it run for about five minutes before yep. I turn it off for the night. Uh, let's go ahead and shut it down, or okay. the video. <laughs> Shut it down. Shut it down. <laughs> we'll go ahead and end the video and uh, we will, um, actually, let's not end the video. You want to do tomorrow? Yeah, let's just continue tomorrow. Come on with us tomorrow. Yeah, so you'll see, uh, so you kind of get the, the, the morning flavor of getting everything ready and then just super low key evening and then in the morning should be pretty straightforward. All right, so we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Oh, it's so foggy. It's so humid. <laughs> It's like I'm filming in a jungle. Look at this. Do you see the lens? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so this is not the site we ended in yesterday. yesterday. Hold no. on. Hold on a second. So this is not the same site we ran last night. There was a little bit of an issue with the electricity at the other site, so we had to move. The onboard power system is nice because it tells us when there's 
faults or whatever because we uh we hooked up and the ac wasn't running mm -mm. all the way like we ran and got food and came back and it still hadn't cooled down very well yeah. and it didn't feel like there was a lot of air coming out so something we, we got back and we were like something's strange and then about 20 minutes later everything just turned off yeah so and the thing said there was like a fault in the ground or whatever so we just got another site because yep. they're not full so not too bad today we are headed uh, to 250, 260 miles down the road. Yep. I think down to Daytona. Uh, just gonna check that out for a couple nights. Also, while we were here, uh, well, actually, while we were filming the end of this yesterday, uh, some viewers of ours were walking around the park and waved Sweet. at us while we were filming. And then we hooked up with them last night and chatted for a little bit. It was uh, yeah. Tyson and Stacy from mm -hmm. We Are En Route on Instagram. Yeah. Thank you guys for the, the fun evening yesterday after all of this <laughs> long day of driving fast, yeah. and finding another site and all that. It was nice to just, you know, chat and have fun, awesome. talk about World of Warcraft with some people for a bit. Yay! So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now we're gonna hit the road. Okay. So I filmed Tara as we crossed into Florida. You know, you come up over that hill and then it says Florida on the side. Yeah. She like exploded. I tried so to excited. get the kids to be excited because I knew it was coming up and I was like, look, look, look at the sign because they were all excited about Georgia and the peach. No. Brooke was like... Come on, Florida has like a sun and palm I know. trees. What did she say? Brooke was like, oh, are we, are we at the beach now? And I was like, no, we're in Florida. And she goes, oh. oh. And I was like, ugh. We are only literally surrounded by beaches. Yes. Well, and then Ben <laughs> said, he goes, um, 10 minutes in, are we still, are we still in Florida? And then, you know, 40 minutes later, are we still in Florida? I was like, oh, yeah. we can't get to another state going this direction. <laughs> nope, nope, not many options. Sorry. Yeah, so we're in Florida. Yeah, we're in they Florida. pick up on that. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we have changed already. Uh, yeah. We are in a very tight spot. It's yeah. a nice little campground. It is. It's a very tight spot. Yeah. Um, great. But we made it in. And uh, both vehicles, we had to park in front. And uh, you can see I'm kind of right on the uh, edge of the spot here. Uh, that was a lovely breeze, wow. Yeah. Uh, so we are all changed and ready to go to the beach. Because that's what we came here for. That's what we came here for, yes. We know. We know. We know. We're, if it's if we're it's not going to be anywhere near anybody. If it's packed, if it looks unsafe, we're going to just yeah. turn right around and there's a lot, do something else. There's a lot of beach to yeah. pick from. Yeah. From basically here like down. Ormond, we can go straight out to Ormond Beach and then anywhere down through Daytona. So anywhere that's not busy, that's where we're going. Yes. All right, so thanks for coming along on our Two double moving day? Moving, moving day! <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so that's that. Yeah. Um, stay tuned. We're in Florida. Much more to come. What are, we, what are we doing in Florida? We're going to be here for a long time. We're going to do all the things in Florida. We're going to try and do a lot of things in Tell Florida. Tell us your favorite thing. Yes. Leave us leave a us comment, comment down below. Let us know what your favorite thing to do in Florida is. Because we plan on going all over the state yep. and exploring over the next time. Yes. <laughs> Alrighty, see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Bye.